It's us and Steph. It's us. Awesome. And we figured we'd do a part three and let you know that my foot is pretty much back to normal. So I gotta thank my girl. Even though she says I don't listen. What am I singing that for? <laughs> because mm, he don't. <laughs> well. Yeah, we're lounging around today, Sibs. Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm doing more research on my, you know, gout issues and all that stuff. So, you know, I've been kind of, you know, looking at uh, home remedies and... There's natural cures. There's natural here. cures, mm -hmm. yeah. Just looking cranberry juice, uh, lemon juice, of course. Anything the, acidic. Yeah, anything acidic. Um, the uh, apple cider vinegar seems to come up a lot, which actually I have right here. Basically, it's a mixture of just, it looks like regular water, but it's actually, what, one it's, teaspoon of apple cider vinegar? No, and, it's two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and one teaspoon of lemon juice. Yep. Yeah. That's actually not bad if you can handle the bitter taste. Yeah, it's, oh. it tastes, it tastes bad. Oh. So it tastes bad. But it does work. And, yeah. And put it in warm water. Yeah, it'll warm get water. into your system faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't. Cold water. Yeah, don't use the cold water. No. Um, but yeah, I mean, this actually, I think, has definitely been helping. So I'm looking at trying to continue this maybe on a regular basis. Because uh, tomorrow I do return back to work. So this will probably be the last video for a few days. Because um, I want to make sure everything is good to go with my foot. Because once I get back to work, then it's like, uh, you know, I'm going get to be get put back to the grindstone again. So I want to make sure I'm good to go with... Uh, with my foot, so, but yeah, I mean, I'm moving it, and, you know, I'll go ahead and show you real quick here, I can actually move my big toe, no problem, I mean, there's a little bit, of, you know, of pain or pressure, but nothing like what I had, so, yeah, and I just wanted to thank my girl, you know, and Steph, so, I'm, I'm back to my, my normal self. Yeah, I don't have to shoot his toe off, Sebs. So. Yeah. That was an option. <laughs> I wasn't really on board with it, but... I was. <laughs> oh, my. Well, <clears throat> I can't have that. But you did have a slight issue. Mm -hmm. I did have to help you yesterday because the, the Mega Shed screen door window popped out of its frame. Yeah, I was in the so. back. Oh, getting, getting clothes and stuff because I was washing. And... I had the door open, I heard a, well, I had it slightly open, I heard a, you know, a bang. And so I'm like, well, you know, what was that? You know, I came out into the um, back of the mega ship. Well, I consider that to be the front where the deck is, mm -hmm. because I don't really go out the front door, which I consider the back door. <coughs> because I'm always coming out the deck, which is the back, but to me, that's the front. And she said that the... Uh the front door, you know, something, the front door window came out. I'm thinking front door, that's towards where, you know, the driveway. I'm like, there's no window on the front door. And then she, oh, I mean the back door. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. So came to look and yeah, the actual pane had popped out. I guess the little yeah, clips. It, it hit the floor, you know, yeah. but it didn't crack or break or anything. So I'm like, well, how did it do that? Hmm. You know, so I looked at it. I was like, oh, okay. So I just toddled on over here, Sibs. Yeah. Yeah, I had to help. I had to walk over on my bum foot to fix that winder, even though I should have been resting, because someone ordered me to, you know, stay off my foot. So I had to help. Man, he was up and around <laughs> anyway, Subs. <laughs> I wrangled him on over there. Yeah, so I had to help my girl. Yeah, because he's up and around. You know, he's now. You know, he haven't been listening. You know, he's been up and walking around and going out in the, in the cold with his foot. So I'm like, well, put it to some use. You know, come over here and help with that there window. And shh, yeah. I'm just drinking my wine. <laughs> I'm just sipping it. Part three of the yeah. miseries. Subs. <laughs> It's disgusting, but it works. It works. Yeah. It works really good. So, um, we're looking at... Get some at apple cider vinegar and yeah. keep it in your house, Sibs. You, mm -hmm. it, I mean, it can 
help you with a myriad of, of um, medical issues. Yeah, because it also said uh, cherry, <clears throat> um, like concentrated cherry juice. Yeah, cherry juice, cranberry juice, because it's acidic. Yeah, cranberry juice. <clears throat> um, of course, Lem I. Lemon juice. Lemon yeah. juice works too. I'm looking at, uh, well, Epsom salts, you know, for soaking, that, which I have had mm -hmm. to do because, you know, again, my job sometimes is really f physical in nature. Um, yeah, it actually says to stay away from uh, certain, you know, like seafoods, like shellfish. And uh, now, luckily, crab meat and lobster is not on this list, so I think, well, I think we're still... clams, yeah, scallops, clams, scallops, yeah. oysters, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, I've been kind of doing some browsing. And we don't browsing. really eat it that often, just a few, maybe three times a year, and that's pretty much it. We don't mm -hmm. really eat it that often. Mostly around the end of the year <clears throat> for Christmas. Yeah, anchovies, shellfish, sardines, and even tuna are higher in the purines that cause the... Uh, um, the uh, what is that acid uric acid, yeah, in your foot, yeah, yeah. Uric acid. so yeah, so I've been doing all sorts of research, you know, um, cherries and tart cherry juice, magnesium, ginger, warm water with apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, uh, and turmeric. We turmeric. Have to get some turmeric, mm -hmm. and they had it at the um, at the dollar store, we just didn't think of it. Um, because we, we never used it, just used the um, apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. And we have two of these. We have the lemon and the epso. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. And I, it worked without the turmeric. So. It even says, can you eat pizza if you have gout? Uh, according to this, you can. Gout is focused on, you know, mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, on uric acid levels. Well... Concentrates such as bread, pizza, pasta do not increase uric acid levels. Alcohol does, though. Yeah, mostly beer, which I haven't really hardly I hardly drink beer anymore. Um, but yeah, it says organ meats like liver, kidney type meats increase uric acid. Seafood, notably shellfish, can increase uric acid levels as well, but not clams or uh, yeah, lobster clams. tails or no, crab. crabs. Yeah, not crabs and lobster. Well, they're so. all shellfish, but it I guess it depends on how often you eat it and how much you eat. Mm -hmm. you know? Baking soda can reduce uric acid in the body. Um, it just says to mix a half teaspoon in a, into a glass of water and drink it up to four times a day for two weeks. I'll stick with this, mm -hmm. honestly, because I don't know, baking soda. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It all tastes bad. Oh, yeah. What's that saying? If it tastes good, it's, it's, bad for it's you. probably bad for you. If it tastes you. bad, it's good for you. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Orange juice, bad for gout. Well, let's see. Um, sweetened juices like orange juices may also be a gout risk trigger. But the fructose that is added, you know, more to like soft drinks and stuff, it occurs naturally in orange juice. So drinking too much OJ can be as risky as drinking, you know, sugary soft drinks. So him drinking all those Cokes and stuff like that's triggering That's probably, uh, yeah, it's probably affecting it. So, yeah, I know I need to, to cut back on it. I, know, I definitely need to, yeah, cut back, so. Yep, he's going to have to cut back on these things. Damn it. But yeah, as you get older, and of course I'm 50, you know, I um, can't drink like I was a teenager anymore. So, you know, obviously my body's telling me, give me these subtle changes or these subtle signs as things Damn change. Hints. Yeah. So I guess I better drink a little more water than uh, soft drinks or more well, you juices. Well, drink, you drink more juice you get cranberry juice. Yeah. Because we did have cranberry juice. I used to get it all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we haven't got it in a while, so we'll have to add that to our bucket list of Yeah, we have to get stuff. that. Well, we'll have to go, well, next week if things are going to get a little bit frantic. Because mm -hmm. then we'll just have a week left, and I hate to do last-minute stuff, subs, because you forget. Yeah, we're going to try to get a list and stuff. We'll probably go out shopping because yeah, next couple weeks are basically this week and next week are the last two weeks that I've got you know before my vacation begins. I mean, the first part of February, the first week is finishing up the HVAC project, and I hope to knock that out you know the first few days of that week, 
then we're preparing for the vacation. So we'll be gone, you know, for five, six days, somewhere around there. Probably won't have internet, so when I do make the videos, I'm just going to, you know, record and render them and keep them on my laptop. And then when I get home, I'm just going to upload a, you know, a whole swarm of videos. Yeah. So you'll have a whole bunch of stuff to watch when I get back, you know, middle of February. So it'll be probably before Valentine's Day. When, yeah, I put a hold on the mail. Yeah, put hold on the mail and some of her stuff that's for sale you know we'll have to put a, a block on the auctions for anybody trying to buy stuff while we're gone because I obviously I won't be able to ship it so I have to get with eBay on that um, but yeah so we're kind of making our preparations trying to cover everything I've even got a couple you know tires I bought for the van for the front you know the tires overall are in good shape but they're older and they're showing some signs of dry rot so I don't want to have any issues of you know flats or whatever and in case I do I've got a floor jack I've got you know the tools to change a tire full-size spare for my van but the front tires are the most important ones and those are the ones that if anything I want them to have brand new tires mm -hmm. and I can hold on to the ones that are in decent shape put them on the back where they have less wear and tear uh, probably during the first week of February I want to wait till after this project's done because I want to go ahead and get as much use out of the tires that are on there now before I change two of them off so I'm gonna wait. Gotta save that nickel, huh, sir? Oh, here we go. I'm saving nickels. <laughs> I love you. You know what, Sips? <laughs> now he'll sit there, and if I mean, if it's something that that I want to do or something, he'll he'll he will nickel and dime me, Sips. Oh. He he believes in nickel and dime, but when it's something he wants. Uh, that don't happen. Oh, I would never do that to you. That that does not happen, <laughs> subs. Uh, yeah, go back. Um, look at our Christmas video about that salt shaker. <laughs> what a pepper shaker. Yeah, a pepper shaker. That I'll just bend it. No, yeah. we'll get a new one. Yeah, sometimes we reminisce on our past videos. I'm not really critiquing them. We're just kind of going back through, you know, looking at some of our recordings that we've done. Yeah and some of the humor that that we put into the videos so he's a lick penny so <laughs> he's a lick penny what do you call it? what does that mean a lick penny yeah. somebody who's cheap oh who don't want to spend money unless it's something he wants then he'll go all out for it subs but if it's something that i need like for specific things in the house well, don't we have that already? Or well, yeah. Usually, well, I thought we did. Well, but, can't yeah. we? Can't well, we use? Can't we use this old horse hoof? Can't, horse can't we use that for storage? <laughs> no, we have to actually go and buy something. Yeah. Yeah. Spend I mean, a nickel. Yeah. Well, I'll discuss it, but yeah, we'll go get it. I mean, I'm not denying. Yeah. You know, or we're not going to get this. I don't say no. We get it. When he wants to get stuff, subs, I usually don't know about it till he's already done it, which I don't really care. You know, because I, I'm, I'm like, oh, well, whatever, you know. But if I'm looking at something on the Internet, oh. Uh, or if I'm looking at QVC, oh, you're looking at QVC. I have never done that. I have never come in here mm -hmm. and seen him order something or thinking about what. I have never said that, subs. No. But I'll have QVC on. I'm looking like, oh, that, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> are, are you, are you going to get that? See, I just don't watch QVC. I mean, I know of it. I, I really don't pay attention well, what do to you it. Care? I know. Yeah, it's mostly woman stuff. I'm, I'm like, I'm, well, of course. Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I mean, it's not like I'm throwing money away, subs, because I don't. You, everything I buy goes right back into this house yeah. to make the house look the way it does. I mean, this house. <clears throat> Does not look the way it does, subs. For me, just sitting around blowing money on nothing. Okay, the house is always clean. I decorate it for the difference. It's decorated for Valentine's Day now. Yeah. You know, I mean, everything that I get comes either here in my garden or over at the mega shop. It's not mm -hmm. something that I just buy and then I just leave it out and it rots in the sun. Or I put it somewhere and it's just sitting there, but I keep buying the same thing over. 
it's no if if I buy something it's usually for the bedroom or the dining room or the living room that's what I'm buying stuff for you know or out on the porch to make the porch look nice or my garden to make the garden look nice you know it's not just stuff that I'm throwing away yeah. it's actually stuff that, to make his property look nice oh Oh, oh, you're, are you, oh, you're watching Q, yeah, I'm watching QVC, <laughs> yes, I am. And then I'm like, oh, okay, what are they selling now? And then we start looking, we'll actually watch, you know, I'm critiquing some of the stuff they're selling, and both her and I are in agreement, some of the prices of some of the stuff that yeah, they're selling. Yeah, like, I'll see what they have, and then I'll go to Amazon. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, mean she is a smart shopper. Yeah. I'm not knocking, you know, that I see QVC and I'm like, oh, let's, I'm, I'm look, immediately looking at the price. And if I do buy stuff from QVC... It's returns. Yeah, it's returns. It's as is. And so far, I've had excellent um, chances with them, you know, because um, most of the stuff that I got, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. You know, the people just send it back, they you know. For whatever reason, and lot, almost all of it worked. I mean, there's yeah. a few that, few things that have been broke, that arrived broken yeah, or shattered. Yeah, just send it back. And, you yeah. know, they're quick to replace it if mm -hmm. there's a replacement. They'll just send me the money back. But I've had very good luck, you know, with... As is, because it's like half the price or less than half the price, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with it. So yeah. if I see something, I'm like, oh, okay, and I won't buy it. I'll wait mm -hmm. a couple of weeks, then I'll go back on that particular brand's as is site, and more than likely, it's going to be there for less than half the price. You know, so if that's something I want to decorate the house, or you know, mm -hmm. which is where all the money goes, yeah. back into this house. You know, you never see me with fancy jewelry on. You never see me with all these fancy clothes. You never see any. I just, I just have my regular little, you know, dresses or T-shirts or stuff. You know, but the money that I spend goes right back into this house. You know, or I'll get things to sell on eBay that are in excellent condition. You know, I'll do that too. You know, I'll go to collections, etc. And they have a lot of clearance items or a lot, especially this time of year, because they don't want to send that crap back. Yeah. And they'll be getting in all this new spring and summer stuff, so they don't want to. They don't want to have the winter stuff. So th that's the time to buy it because it's cheap. There's nothing wrong with it, but they just don't want to send it back to the warehouse. So you know, I'll get that and just hold it and put it in there. I mean, people are still buying stuff. I yeah. mean, they buy it all year round. It doesn't matter because we women, we we like bath towels and rags and you know, we like quilts, bedspreads, sheets, comforters. We love that stuff all year round. It doesn't matter. We'll buy it all year round and just save it for gifts or for later on in the year when it gets cold or whatever. We don't care. You know, but um, I don't waste his money. Yeah. I do not waste his money. You know, so... Mm -mm. No. So I don't know why he does that to me, but he, he continuously does do it. I don't do it at all. I mean, he'll come and tell me, you know, oh, I, I bought such and such and such. I'm like, oh, okay. But he'll be, but I'll be looking to keep, oh, <laughs> what you getting now? I'm just observing. No, you're not. Okay. He's buttoning, sis. <laughs> buttoning. He's buttoning. <laughs> I'm just curious what you do. Why aren't you, why are you not curious what you're doing? Oh. You're not curious? No. Oh. What you do with your money? That's none of my business. How am I going to sit around here and tell you what to do with your money? But he tries to tell me what to do, sis. <laughs> Ladies, yeah, sound familiar? Eh. I guess eh. I guess that's an old habit from the past because back in the day that was, you know, I I had to kind of micromanage to a point with the fun, the finances and all, and that's again that's one of those weird habits from from times past where there was a lot of you know volatility and deception going on with the money we were making with our business. And yeah, it's a habit. I, I'm I'm working on breaking it. But like I said, I mean, none of the money's gone to waste. It's this house has looked amazing, and I love my girl, and she's keeping me in tip-top healthical shape and stuff. If I had QVC on now, says he'd be like, he he'd be showing you. <laughs> he like, oh. fact, I do I do have one of my shopping networks, but it, but they're on in the bedroom. Yeah. Because I'll be over there. I'll be I'll be over here, yeah. subs. Because He's, he doesn't have to go to work till like. 10 in the morning. So, you know, we could spend some time together. Usually, we spend no time together. Yeah, usually, I'm up early and I come home in the afternoons, but here, now things are shifting again more afternoon hours or late morning to afternoon yeah. and evening hours. So, 
Um, but like I said, I've got the next couple weeks I'm going to get through, and then you know, I'll be preparing for you know, getting this HVAC system completed once and for all. So again, I need to have my, my hooves in good shape as well because I'll be helping getting this project done, which is going to help you know drop some of the price, the final price once it's all said and done. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I need to make sure that uh, you know plus with the vacation, I don't want anything to affect the vacation, you know whether it's my feet or my health or whatever. So yeah, she's she's taking care of me, and I gotta stay in in my uh, healthical shape. Yeah, Tip top healthful shape, so yeah. And he does have his socks on his feet. Yeah, I got my socks. Yeah. It's cold out there too. I mean, we're, we got temperatures in the twenties last is night. Very cold. Yeah, here for the Carolinas, it's actually dropped to winter, actual mm-hmm. winter temperatures. I mean, highs yeah. are not even getting out of the forties. Yeah. So we had to, I had to go turn the heat on over at the mega shift for the poor plants. I didn't know yeah. it was going to get that cold, or else I'd have turned it on before I went to came back over here to go to bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to get, but they're okay. You know, open the door so they can get the sun. Yeah. You know, and I did turn the heater on for them. I didn't know it was going to get that cold. But they're okay. I'm over there washing clothes now. Yeah. So I continuously wash. Ladies, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, I continuously wash. But, you know, I try to stay ahead of it so I don't have three or four loads to do at one time. Usually I'll have one or two. And that's that's usually my limit. But, yeah, unless i got to strip both the beds. But I don't have to do but yes, yeah, Sibs, I don't, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> I have yet to spend $1,500, though, Sibs. I, could you imagine me spending $1,500 on one item, Sibs? Could you imagine what, what, what would come out of his mouth? If I spent $1,500 on one item. Yeah. I, bought, I bought it for us. You didn't buy that for us. <laughs> I don't bother with that TV subs. I do not. I don't bother <clears> with <throat> it at all. Yeah. I, I'm over at the Mega Shade with that TV. I'm full with that TV. But this one, I don't. I don't touch it. Period. I dust it. That's what I keep it clean. I keep the screen clean. I'm, you know, when I'm dusting the living room. But I don't touch that TV. Mm. Nope. That is his. Pride and joy is that TV, subs. You're my pride and joy. Let us look at the TV, subs. <laughs> oh, jeez. And, of course, I'm watching one of my favorite shows, Star Trek on it. So, I can't wait to stay on that for, you know, because I don't have any copyright issues. But, yeah. So, mm-hmm. it's, it's, we will probably, well, I was going to, we watched the, the football games yesterday. That was pretty surprising. The end of the. Packers got shredded, turned into, got, got turned, in, turned into shredded cheese, and um, they were graded. Yeah, and then the Titans. I don't know. They seemed to do so well, and then got totally stopped by the Kansas City Chiefs, who amazingly have not been to the Super Bowl in as long as I've been alive. Fifty years. Fifty years. I was seven months old last time they appeared in the Super Bowl, and he was uh, a young. Man. I was a young, and now I'm fifty. So that's one long drought for the Kansas City Chiefs. That's so, incredible. I'm actually pulling for them because I'd like to see them actually get that. But, man, the 49ers dominance, oh, my goodness. I'm thinking they might actually pull it I off. No, so. I think they're equal. They, yeah. I think they're pretty equal. So, mm, yeah, it's going to be. Green Bay, oh, my God. And yeah. they, there was people that actually thought Green Bay was going to was, was going to um, beat them. Yeah, they got totally obliterated. I mean, first half, by the end of the first half, I already called the I game. I felt I'm bad like, for them. Yeah, I was like, oh, man. I'm this like, is... see, they act like the Steelers. Yeah. Except they got different colors. Mm-hmm. I just like to steal Yeah, they so. choked big time. Oh, my goodness. Well, it wasn't their turn. It was yeah. somebody else's turn now. There's These two teams, well, the last time the 49ers went, the Ravens beat them. So, you know, that's that was way back. Was that 2009? Something like that? Was that 2009? Might 2010? Yeah. Something like that? It's, it's, been a, it's been a good spell. It's been a good while, so... It's somebody else's turn. You don't, I get tired of seeing the same teams yeah. all the time. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's somebody else. saw one of those memes that, you know, people pulling for the Chiefs, people pulling for the 49ers, and then 95, 98% of the other, you know, pie is just glad to not see the Patriots in another Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Yeah, they're yeah. But, 
Yeah, so. But yeah, his his foot is getting better, yeah. Subs. You know, he's covering it up. I don't think if he had had his socks on, it would have been as his recovery would have been as good as it is because he wouldn't have thought to put socks on. He would have just been having his feet up in the cold. You know, so no, you just keep your little booties on and everything yeah. will be fine. Yeah, I got to keep my booties on. Yeah, and he, and he has his anti-inflammatory, you know, pain reliever. Plus he has that, uh -huh. you know. So, and it does work. Yeah. You know, it does work. You know, just give it a few days. It, it'll work. Yeah, I'll be taking my uh, ibuprofen here probably pretty soon. Yeah. Well, you have to eat. Yeah, I got to eat something first. Something that potent, you got to have something on your stomach yeah. or you'll start getting stomach ulcers, and I don't need that. He'll eat the lining of your stomach. Yeah. So, I made some chicken salad subs. Yeah. I made some really good chicken salad. So, we'll have that. I, I guess it'll last today. Last today. I guess it will. <laughs> it might last today, yeah. and then for tomorrow, I guess we'll figure well, something else out. We'll see what's left. Yeah, probably not much, hmm. but we'll see what's left. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. So we just thought we'd give you another quick update, and all's well here at the house. So, you know, we're all happy people, and my foot's getting better. So. Yeah. <clears throat> go back to my shopping channel so yeah. you can go in there uh uh what are yeah. they selling yeah. now that's oh. what he does what are they selling yeah. now what are they selling i look at the price i'm like oh and so, <laughs> I, know, it's so I mean a lot of this stuff a lot of this stuff can be cheap stuff so, yeah and he'll still be like uh. oh, well that's what i do i mean i'm the same way you see something and it's like it might pique your interest a little bit then they see the price well i'm all about you know scrounging for the best bang for the buck so whether it's on eBay or Amazon or you know stuff like that, unless it's something he really wants. Oh, I'll shop for it if I can find a better price. Just like I shopped for a couple of years for that TV, best price I could find on it, Sam's Club. That's why I needed Tommy's help to bring it here because it was so massive. <clears throat> so, yeah, but could you imagine what would happen <laughs> if I spent fifteen hundred dollars on one item? So could you could you just Imagine the tirade if something just showed up in that doorstep and he found out it cost fifteen hundred dollars. Could you imagine what would happen? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Hello? I'll just go back over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Yeah. He don't he don't care what he buy as long as he really wants it, subs. But God forbid anybody else should want something. Oh. You can have what you want. <laughs> we all know how that go, don't we, ladies? Oh, yeah. my. I love you. Mm -hmm. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> Besides zip. What's love got to do with it? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have zip to do with it. Oh, my. What in the world? <laughs> it's, it's, well. And you know what he does, sir? When he first bought that TV, he was so enamored with it. Nothing, I mean, it's like there was nothing else. There was there was just that TV. Nothing else. Like, I finally got my TV. Be gone, thought. Be gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You love your TV. <laughs> Don't he say it's like, oh be gone. Wow. I got the TV. We want to be alone. Yeah, him and the TV. Uh, wow. Mm. Well, I finished my uh, my concoction. So, but yeah, some of those home remedies, actually some of them do work. Yeah, they work. Yeah. And they've been working for years. Yeah, so we'll definitely be changing up you know, a few things, at least for my diet, so I can hopefully get this gout under control because it's usually an early sign of arthritis. Well, which, gout is arthritis. Yeah, it is. It's a form of arthritis. Mostly it hits the joints of the big toe, but it can mm -hmm. affect other joints as well. But, yeah, it's finally getting to the point where I'm, you know, after that day at work. I mean, I've been able to manage them. You know, they've been, they've been painful, but not like that. That was probably the worst case that I've had to the point where, I was almost crawling because that was brutal, and yeah, that was kind of like. Yeah, uh, he didn't listen, so. Yeah, well, I'm listening now because oh my goodness. You know why he's listening now? 
because his pain is gone and he's he's forgetting it. No, like like forget. a, a week from now, subs, he'll forget all about that. No, I'll remember it because I'm like, yeah, I got to keep myself in, in tip top healthful shape because, yeah, he I got to be able to. around with no socks, <laughs> not putting his foot up. Well, it was 70 and actually, degrees. And actually walking on that foot. Yeah, it was actually 70 degrees that a couple of days. Kate, like, why you got all these excuses coming out your mouth? Okay, it's just taking advantage of the weather and stuff. <laughs> what kind of sense does that make, sense? I love you. <laughs> it was 70 degrees. <laughs> so what? I love you. It wasn't bad outside when we went to the to that hospital. It wasn't bad outside. No, it was no. It was a little chilly, but it, still, it was it was, just, it was breezy. But yeah. it wasn't like it is now. You know, but. Uh, uh. So you can walk around with no socks on just because it's seventy. No, because there's still a draft on the floor. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Is it, am I, I speaking it. German? <laughs> so, I love you. You're um, my you're my Valentine and. Yeah, Valentine's and shit. Because yeah. I decorated the house so it's, yeah. it's beautiful in here. Yeah. And shit. So, yep, there you go. Just another quick update. And, yeah, we're we're all happy, full together. And, yeah. and things are back to normal and stuff. So. Yep. I take good care of them, subs. I, I do my best, but I, there comes a time when you got to throw your hands up and say, okay, well, you don't want to listen, huh? Deal with it on your own. I'm, not, I'm, not. I'm, I'm putting my hands up. <laughs> no, because you're surrendering. Okay. But I'm doing like, <laughs> do that, lady. When that, you're trying to tell them something, they think they know more than you. Okay. You know what you do? Psst. Walk away. Okay. Whatever. <clears throat> you don't know me. You ain't the boss of me. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. You ain't shoot my toe off, so shut up. <laughs> so, yeah. We're complaining. Yeah. So, yep. So I'll, uh, you know, probably end this video, and we'll just go on, and hopefully ha go back to our normal routine of. Uh, of you not listening? Oh. Yeah, that's the normal routine. So oh, is it? Yeah. And being a lick penny. A lick penny. Yeah. You never heard of that before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, being a lick penny. That's being cheap. When you don't want to spend anything when you know you should spend it, but you don't because you think you're going to save a nickel. God forbid he should have to spend a dime if he don't want to spend a nickel, huh, subs? God forbid. Oh, the horror. Oh, my. The Darn humanity. It. Damn it. A damn nickel. <laughs> really? I love you. <laughs> so. How many nickels was that TV? Uh, a bunch. A bunch. <laughs> a bunch of nickels. <laughs> See. Oh my. How come you weren't nickel and dime in that TV? I was trying. I was no, trying you to get... weren't. <laughs> it no, wasn't, you weren't. It wasn't the getting much cheaper. The first chance he got that, oh my God, I can finally get it through all that caution to the wind, subs. Yeah. I was like, I, I yeah. Yeah. I had tasks, so I had goals, and they're good. And now the goal's completed. <laughs> so, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love you. Yeah, just keep in mind what would happen if I ever took him to something and say, if if um, QVC or something ever had anything for fifteen hundred dollars, and I said, ooh, get that for me. Can you imagine <laughs> what he would do? I love you. <laughs> know what he would say is, are you out of your damn mind I'm not getting that I never say that you better go to the thrift store <laughs> <laughs> go to the thrift <laughs> <laughs> go to the thrift store to get that TV oh that he my. subs I don't have anything I, I don't think I even trust and you notice how subs sometimes we'll be shopping and he'll be like are you done are you, are you done can we go now when we go to look for that TV, he wasn't rushing me out. I wasn't rushing him out to do You ever notice how I don't do that stuff? If he goes to get something, I mean, I don't really care. You know, I don't pay it any attention. 
You know, I wasn't rushing them or nothing. I just let them take his time and look oh, at it. I wasn't it taking my time. I wanted to get it and get out. That's kind of my thing. I'm I'm all about, you know, getting what I need and going. Got an excuse for everything, don't you, Subs? Yeah, I'm just saying, though. Wow. But here we are. Like, when we went that last time, are we done? Are we done? Well. Are you looking on your list? Yeah. Well, at that time, I think I was, like, I don't know what was it. I had to, I think I had to go to the bathroom or something like that. You didn't have to go no damn bathroom, Subs. <laughs> I, I think I gotta go. I mean, he didn't pay for it or nothing. I mean, I was paying for it, you know. I, but I went and got the stuff that we were that we're, we're going to need. You know, it wasn't like I was just going there to buy useless <laughs> junk. Oh, I know we needed it. Yeah, you know, I agree. I'm, I, everything I get subs, we need it. Yeah. You know, I'm not just throwing money away and stuff. But I like to compare prices and compare ingredients because there's no yeah. sense in getting the name brand. If you can get the store brand and it's the exact same dosage or the mm -hmm. exact same milligram, why would you spend four or five dollars on something that you could spend maybe a dollar and a half or two? Yeah, Walmart's a good example of that they had that. Uh, Dramamine. Uh, yeah, Dramamine for. Yeah. Um, one was how much was Almost it? Was four dollars. Yeah, and then the other one was half the price. It was a dollar fifty. Yeah, over exact half the price. same thing. Yeah, sure. You enough. know, so I like to take my time and look at the look at stuff like that. Men would just walk in and snatch it off the shelf. Because they want to, they want to leave. They don't want to be in the line. They don't want to be looking for nothing. You tell them, okay, well, you can get up and see if the store got the exact same. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to snatch the name brand and go. Did you looking like? Well, did they have an equivalent? Or I don't know. I, I didn't look. Isn't this what you wanted? Yeah. Now you know I'm not lying, am I? Mm mm. Nope. Mm mm. We're there for your support. He wanted to leave, sir. <laughs> He wanted to leave. Unless we're going to get something he wants. Oh. Then, you know, oh, well, yeah. Like, go to the discount rack. Yeah. He'll go to the discount rack. Yeah, we usually, well, you, we're both in that habit. It's like, hey, well, first thing, we'll make well, a beeline. I, that's what I've always done. Yeah. He didn't always do it. No, and I did not know the discount racks even existed until, I, you know, yeah, Karen came here. Because so. we have them up north. Everybody yeah. got them. Yeah, we didn't even pay attention to them, of course. Back then, I really didn't go shopping. You know, I just kind of, that was left to You don't her. like to shop. But it's, yeah. it's fun with me, sis, yeah. because, you know, I'm teaching them stuff, of, you know, what to look for and, mm -hmm. you know, go to the discount rack. Because usually on the discount rack, there's nothing wrong with that stuff. But mm -hmm. a lot of it, either the box is damaged or maybe, you know, it's ripped a little bit or, or it's smashed a little bit. But there's nothing wrong with what's inside of it. Or maybe the, the um, medicine is it get ready to expire but medicine can last two two to three years after yeah. you know the um expiration date excuse me especially if it's pills they can last they don't really neutralize at all but people don't know that you know so i'm looking now yeah. i got him doing it yeah you look at the expiration date like, oh is this really expired and she'll tell me because no. she's got more experience in it and all so you can still use it yeah the liquid you can still use it to up to a year then you have to get rid of it but as far as pill form, no, they, you can have them two and three years. Hmm. Yeah, because eventually the liquid, it, it'll lose its potency yeah. over time. You know, it'll start to break down. But not solid um, pills. No, right. they don't. They last. Now, that ibuprofen, I mean, I've got enough that'll last me for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. plan on taking that, but maybe one. You know, again, when I need it, like, you know, for right now, I'll probably take one today just because there's still a little bit of pain in my foot, but mm -hmm. not nothing like it was. But with our upcoming vacation, I might go ahead and bring that along just in case, you know, something happens or I get some pain or whatever. I'll just pop one and, you know, it's good for six hours. So I'll just, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to like overload myself or whatever. But, you know, just want to make sure that nothing hinders our vacation. I'm trying my best to keep in tip top extra, health. We machine. have extra because yeah. I, I did bring um, acetaminophen. That's 500 milligrams. Mm -hmm. So that's good too. And yeah. you can take two of those. Oh, yeah. You know, but you cannot take two of, of the those. ibuprofen. No, that's 600 milligrams so a piece. So you can't so. take two of them. But yeah. you can take two Tylenol. You know, that's 1,000 milligrams mm -hmm. with the two. So that, that'll that work, too. But it's best to get the inflammation down to the point where a lower dosage will work for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's apparently what's happened. So that's good, too. Yeah. You know, but I'll, I'll have, you know, I already packed it up, as a matter of fact. I already got our little first aid kit. Yeah. So it's already done. You know, already did it. You know. Now we're just going to start going through clothes here pretty soon to 
figure yeah. out what we're going to take and all that. So we'll I definitely have yeah. to do that next week. Yeah. Because so. I, I hate to do stuff last minute. Yeah. So we're we're done as far as packing. So I just have to. Uh, you ever see his suitcase <laughs> subs? Did you ever see it in the past? When I came, yeah. Um, last year, in June, he he hadn't unpacked from January. Yeah. That final trip to Mexico and yeah, the stuff. I, I couldn't, my clothes I couldn't still believe in it. it. Yeah. I mean, I actually unpacked those clothes, washed them, and put them away. They'd have still been in there. I mean, they were all wrinkly. I'm like, well. You know, he didn't fold them up. He just threw them in there. He didn't fold them up. He didn't roll them up. Nothing. So I'll pack it this time. So because I don't want. I mean, could you imagine we're going all around the ship? And he looked like he just got out the washer. Yeah. You know, no. Keep your, you know, keep your clothes clean. Keep them in a in a nice orderly way. They don't have to be all wrinkly. So I I have the little cute packing cubes subs. I got them off Amazon. They didn't cost that much. You know, and so um, I'll I'll be packing his clothes. So. Yeah. So the vacation coming up. Yeah, I'll I'll let her. I'm just gonna pick stuff out, and she'll probably pack it for me. I'm gonna mm -hmm. learn some more how to pack. Yeah. Now we got you got that one net uh, mesh uh, yeah. thing for the dirty clothes. So. Yeah, that laundry thingy. Yeah. Laundry thingy. I think so. it's in your. I think that's in your bag. Yeah. So, but yeah. Yeah, because so. I'll be washing clothes, so because I'm taking little pods. Um, gain and tie, mm -hmm. which is ties the best on the market. So, yeah, I got that. So, but yeah, so we're gonna have some fun. We'll tell you about it. Like I said, we're gonna keep the vacation probably secret. You know what we're doing, where we're going, and all that. And we'll just upload the videos when I get home. You know that uh, the end of the second week of February. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we're gonna have fun. Yeah. And see, so yeah, when when I actually did, you know, spend that. Uh, good bit of money on our upcoming vacation I was thinking of her so I thought of myself for that TV I agree that's I've been planning on that for a long time it's finally done but you know that was I didn't mind getting it for him yeah, yeah. but the way he but the way he nickels and dimes me with QVC yeah. and HSN and Evine yeah. I'm thinking to myself well I didn't do that I yeah. mean when he when he let me know that's what he wanted I'm like oh okay yeah. I mean, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. Oh, okay, if that's what you want. I mean, because it was a Christmas gift. I, you know how I feel about Christmas, mm -hmm. stuff. I love it. And I think Christmas, you should get what you want yeah. on Christmas. Okay, yeah. so. Now, the nickel and diamond, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to defend myself here. This is bad habits from my past that went on for 16 years. So, I mean, you know, that's one of those habits I'm trying to get out of. So, bear with me. I apologize. I love you. I love my girl and stuff. If I turn QVC on here again, know what he'll say? Oh, what are they selling now? Yeah, well, I will. I'm just looking and, and I see that I, I mean, go right to the it's price. It's not like I'm buying everything. I know, but she's not. I've just, I just critique, you know, what they're selling, you know, what the price is. How and I'm thinking. do that when you're on eBay? I don't oh, do I? That. No, because I'm shopping. I'm, I'm doing the same thing. Amazon, I'm switching between Amazon yeah, and but eBay. But I don't do that, though. No. I don't say, oh. <laughs> I do it for fun. What do you, what do you, oh. What, I'm are you, not, what are you looking at that? No, what he says? What are you looking at that for? What do you care what I'm looking at it for? Because I got eye holes. That's why I'm I looking at it. <laughs> None of your damn beeswax. I, I never say that. <laughs> right. I, most of the time, I just ignore him yeah. when he comes over with that. <clears throat> you know, wherever I'm at, he'll come. What you got on? Oh. oh. I'm shopping. <laughs> So what? Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> you know. Uh, I love you. I have never once done that, so. Oh. I mean, I'll come out here and he'll be searching and stuff on, on eBay yeah. or Amazon. I mean, I mean, I, I don't say any. You no, know, most some most of the time he's buying stuff, but I never I never come in here and say, oh, oh. <laughs> are you buying that? I have never once said that, ever, if I said that. But he does it. I love you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll be back with another video. He'll buy stuff. He forgot he bought it. Oh, I bought it. I know what I did. No, you don't. Oh. Because I'll sit up there and I'll say, you, are you expecting anything? No, I'm not expecting anything. Here come two things at the door. I forgot. I mean. I, see? <laughs> I forgot sometimes. I'm, you know, I 
they just all of a sudden appear. You know, tracking numbers are never accurate, hardly. Sometimes they are, but most of the time it's like, oh, they show up whatever. Anything? No. Mm-hmm. No. Nope. Not that I could think of. Nope. Well, then you you don't expect anything, and all of a sudden, boom, There, here comes UPS at uh, 7 o'clock at night, and their reflective jackets. Oh, you got something here from QVC. That's because it was late. That's oh. not because I wasn't expecting it. Oh. They were supposed to bring it, you know, yeah. but if they bring it 8 o'clock at night, I'm still expecting it. They just yeah. brought it late. I'm thinking they're going to bring it the next day. Or you forgot the, the tracking, or you hadn't seen the tracking number, and, you know, I'm not expecting it. I think with, Sometimes they don't even give me a tracking well, number, well, so yeah. I don't know when it's coming. And then sometimes they'll actually deliver it. Bef- uh, the day before. Yeah, I'm glad about that. Yeah, before it comes you get early. So yeah, that does happen. Especially Christmas time, I was glad yeah. all my stuff came. Mm-hmm. It, you know, before it was fun. Like, Woo! But sometimes, you know, either they give you a tracking number and it's not accurate, or it'll say they're going to deliver. But but Amazon is good. They keep track of that, mm-hmm. and they'll email me and say, "Oop, your shipment is going to be late. We're very sorry." You know, blah, blah, blah. So I'm glad they, they do. That. Yeah. Now, I did have an issue here with eBay uh, for a battery for my cell phone that never arrived. And the seller, oh, I sent it. it. It was sent to your business address. Well, my business address is the same as my resident address. They said, well, the tracking number shows this and this. I'm like, well, the tracking number they sent me was not even an accurate number. And I was like, how about you send me that number since you claim it's it, it arrived? Never arrived. Well, they sent me another number to somebody down the street, which I did some checking on. It's two blocks away. Why are they sending me someone else's tracking number, and it's not even mine? So, yeah, I contacted eBay about that. You know, the guy's trying to kind of save himself from getting a, a, a mark against his... Get a strike. A strike against him, exactly. And uh, so, obviously, the number they sent me was to somebody else's order, which that's not good. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it happens. But, like I said, I've already got my extra battery. I ordered it from somewhere else, so, because the batteries I get, sometimes these what things will they swell do? up. Are they going to refund you? Oh, they already did. Oh. Yeah, the money's been refunded, so that that's our, that case is closed. Oh. So. See, but, I don't even know subs, because I, I don't pay yeah. any attention. It's none of my business. Yeah, well, actually, we had an issue with one buyer. It was a, a new buyer had, like, one, not even, maybe one or not even a seller rating at all, or a buyer rating. You know, they're one of those new members, and they bought one of her uh, comforters by accident. Well, okay, they had to send it back, but they had to pay for shipping because it wasn't my fault. Oh, it was a throw. It was a throw. That's what it was. They never sent it back. And I contacted eBay. They were supposed to send it back by January 10, January 14. It was like, uh, we haven't got it yet. Well, we're just going to close the case. I'm like, all right, I want to make sure they don't leave any negative feedback because they wanted to send it back, but they had to pay for shipping because that was their fault for buying it. They said it was a duplicate blanket that they already had. Well, send it back. But once they realized how much it was going to cost to ship, yeah, they didn't send it so, They'll keep it as a gift or mm-hmm. something. So that was the last of it. And I went ahead and blocked them so they can't buy anything else. I don't want to have any issues with, with shady buyers, you know. Oh, even. see, I didn't even know that. Yeah, they, yeah, they closed that case. So, I, yeah. mean, I didn't know you blocked them. Oh, yeah, I can block them. You know, if you get, you know, that's an option on eBay. You have to search for it, though, because it's kind of not easy to find. But you can actually put their the buyer's username in a list and block them from bidding on your auctions if they become a pain. Or they leave negative feedback, which you don't think is worthy of, you know, of your representation of who you are or what you're selling. So, yeah, there's people that they just seem shady. They're trying to, you know, get something for free or whatever, you know. And, yeah, I'm like, okay, they, these are shady buyers or even sellers. I'll block them sometimes. So, you know, I'll have to deal with them again. But, yep, you just got to watch what you get from, from people online because sometimes they're, they're shady folk, and they're trying to rip you off or whatever. So the majority of people are happy with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, never, never everything we've off. sold. I mean, there's been maybe one person that's left a neutral because, oh, it doesn't look like the picture that was displayed. Well, the color was off slightly. We told them about that. The picture may color colorations may vary from the the display item because that's what we can all we could find to represent what it looks like. Here's actual pictures of the item with the actual color. We show them. But some people you can just never please, but whatever. The majority of people are happy. Yeah, majority of them are happy. So, Because the stuff is new. It's brand new. Oh, yeah, brand new, still in the packaging that yeah. you brought from Pittsburgh. So mm-hmm. this is money that's for her. All the money that, the stuff that she's been selling, that money goes right to her. That's my money. Yeah, because it's yours. But I sure it. Yeah, you sure. Because mm-hmm. sure and cur and. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't nickel and dime. Right. <laughs> but, yeah, we're happy folks. So yeah. as you can tell. Yeah, but 
Anyway. But he's ten times better than he was, so. Yeah. Yeah, my foot's a lot better, so I just thought I'd give you a final he update. He was on the verge of fainting. Yeah. I was, I was like, oh, please. Help me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't shoot my toe. Yeah. <laughs> but, that would have yeah. ended both of our problems. Oh, right? yeah. Right. Yeah. But I would have I had a club foot. I had to get some horseshoes. A club foot? That's not a club foot. Well, it's a stumpy foot. You'd have still had your toes. Oh, well, just one. Well, one less. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> so, anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the part the three. Part three, and we're gonna hopefully, you know, go back to our normal video routine of rambling around, doing stuff, shopping, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, probably not this week. Yeah, maybe probably not next week. Yeah, next so it's week gonna be a few go. days. So I just need to get through this week, and you know, still got work going on and all mm -hmm. that. But yeah. And rest assured, you know, but come February, videos are going to start, you know, happening with uh, the HVAC and then preparing for the upcoming vacation. So stay tuned. And yeah. thanks again for all your comments. I've been watching, you know, reading them and all that. They're funny, sir. They're funny. They are pretty funny. So. Uh, and, and thanks for being on Team Kate. Yeah. Yeah. I have. I don't have much support. <laughs> That's okay. That's because they know. They know. Everybody knows. Everybody I can, that has lived with a man knows. I can't deny it. <laughs> so, until next time. Bye, Sid. Adios. <laughs> wow.